What's up guys? I have a new unboxing or unenveloping is it more appropriate? But this one is from uh, Baltimore, Maryland and I'm excited about this one because I can eat what's inside. So that's always exciting <laughs> to get good food sent to you. Or maybe not so good food. That's the point of the video. It's, I'm going to be un I'm going to be opening this. I don't even really know what to call it. It's not a box. It's not an unboxing. But anyway, this is from Baltimore, Maryland from Dude Jerky. And I saw some uh, some people who tried Dude Jerky, so I wanted to jump on and see what it's all about. I am a jerky aficionado, if you will. And uh, even eating healthier and having a better lifestyle as far as you know food intake and exercise and stuff. Beef jerky is a great option because it's a lot of protein. Um, there's very little fat. I mean, when you make beef jerky, you have to, you know, render the fat off or completely remove the fat so that it, it will keep. And um, it's really not that bad for you at all. It's not bad at all. So this today is actually just going to be my lunch, this jerky and a piece of fruit. So um, here we go. Got the little pull tab to open it. Hmm. Pretty anticlimactic, huh? Well, I can't just leave it at that, right? You know me, gotta use a knife. <laughs> so, we're gonna pop this in. And very carefully, open the package. Now this is one of those padded envelopes. So I don't want to get to all those little fuzzy crap, this stuff. Right here, all that padding. I hate that, it gets everywhere. It's a little fluff. So anyway, check it out. Here's the dew jerky, and uh, I'm not sure if it was necessary to keep it padded. You can really beat the crap out of this stuff. It's not nothing's gonna happen to it. But let's see what we got here. We have the teriyaki, a very, <laughs> very small uh, sample of that. Looks like a gram bag, and a much healthier size um, bag of the. Looks like the regular Dude Jerky, which again is uh, 80s podcast channel. A little shout out to him. Uh, but Dude Jerky is his uh, new channel that's specific for his, his beef jerky business. So it says, uh, well, here's his YouTube thing. Of course, I'll have a link in the description box. But just Dude Jerky is the uh, YouTube name. Dude Jerky, meat candy good enough to make a grass eater a meat-eating cannibal. The picture is hilarious. Hopefully you guys can see that. A couple of cows eating each other. Pretty funny. Caution, contains meat. Let's see here. Ingredients are real beef cuts, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, Worcestershire sauce, uh, spices, vinegar, smoke flavoring, honey, brown sugar. Um, it says warnings. Is that an ingredient? Warnings? Maybe I'm reading that wrong. It's fine print. Uh, contains soy made in areas. Oh. Duh, it's just, those are the ingredients, period. Now a separate section is warnings. It contains soy made in uh, areas where other seeds and spices are produced or used. Nothing artificially added, ever. Really like that. Very, very cool. So just want to support the uh, small business and give this a try. I, I love beef jerky. So first, I have my little gram bag here of the teriyaki. See what that's all about. Break the knife back out. Again, we have the Spyderco Paramilitary 2, and I'm going to cut right into there. Hmm. So looks, and I love beef jerky, so I don't really think there's going to be an issue with taste. However, some jerky is better than others. They are not all created equal. So here we go. We'll break this apart. We got two little pieces here. It's good stuff. It's got good flavor. It's dried out perfectly. Um, some some beef jerky is really really dry and very tough. And I actually prefer the fresher beef jerky. In other words, there's there's definitely still like a very little bit of fat content. This is real beef jerky that you can store for a very very long time. He has these in uh, vacuum uh, packed bags, which is great. But um, like the jerky I got from um. Uh, nuts are fancy 
that was a fresher jerky. It wasn't dried as much, which really is my preference, that kind of jerky. But this, there's nothing wrong with this. It's the same consistency as you would expect from any other kind of beef jerky. But the flavor is really good. Really good. In fact, I'm going to eat the rest of this. So, uh, big thumbs up on the teriyaki, which is a very, you know, common flavor for uh, for beef jerky, and it's very good. It's delicious. So, I don't want to be rude and talk and eat at the same time, but it's just kind of how it happens, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to break into the larger bag here. <laughs> mm. Really good. Okay. So here's the regular bag. And we're going to taste this as well. Mmm. It doesn't say what flavor this is. I'm assuming this is just the regular straight beef jerky, not the flavored soy sauce one, but this one has even more flavor than soy sauce. I'm um, not soy sauce, teriyaki. Mmm. Wow. This is really good. Wow. I'm sorry, I don't be rude and, and chew and get 20 minutes of just me just chewing in front of the camera, no talking. It's really good though. Okay. Um, packed, packed with flavor. And uh, even on the outside, you can see some of the flavoring in the pack here. It's still a little bit wet. It's just, it's exploding the flavor. It's really, really good good beef jerky. Um, in all honesty, I think that um, Nuts or Fancy's beef jerky was a little bit better than this. However, that being said, this would definitely last longer. And this is by far much, much better than any beef jerky I've ever gotten at the store. Any of those bags that, you know, you get at Walmart or whatever. The, uh, you know, ten ninety nine for the huge bag with just a little hunk of beef jerky in the middle. Um, so much, so much better. So if you're looking for beef jerky, uh, definitely order from Do Jerky as opposed to going to your Walmart. Now, unfortunately, Nuts or Fancy does not, uh, I don't think he does right now, sell on a mass scale. Otherwise, I'd, uh, I'd probably be even more broke buying his beef jerky because it was just out of this world. But this is still very, very good stuff. So, so good. In fact, when I shut the camera off, I will be eating the rest of that right now. But, um... Yeah, 80s podcast channel. Um, now, or also, <coughs> uh, do jerky. Very cool. I love the <laughs> the the picture there. It's pretty cool. You gotta like comedy. If you can't laugh in life, what's it all for, right? It's all about good experiences and comedy, and you take the bad with the good. And this is definitely the good. So that's all. Just want to do a uh, un enveloping. I don't really know what to call them when they're not boxes. An unpackaging. That seems to work. That's pretty broad. As well as do a, uh, a review on this. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I definitely enjoyed the beef jerky. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, guys. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm back. I realized, uh, as I'm eating more of this, I didn't explain the flavor. I said it was very flavorful, but I didn't tell you what I was talking about. So, I figured I'd turn the camera back on and go more in depth and detail. Um, you definitely pick up on uh, the soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce. Now, the soy sauce is a little bit more pronounced, but you get that the sweetness from the uh, the brown sugar and uh, the honey, and it's really, really good. It's um, it's very oriental. All the teriyaki chicken and stuff, it, it's obviously an oriental uh, dish originally, but um. If you were like to hydrate this and put it over rice, yeah, I could totally see this getting, you know, getting this dish at a, uh, a really good Chinese restaurant or something. It really is delicious, but you get, um, let me take another bite, a big old bite. No, 
explain it in a second here. Hmm. Delicious. The first thing that hits you is um, the soy sauce. It's the first flavor that hits you. Then you get a little bit of a spiciness to it. Um, I wouldn't say it's spicy in general, but people who don't like spice, they would pick up on it. You get a little bit of a tingle in the throat, just very, very slight. Um, nothing in the ingredients specifically said, you know, chili peppers or, or you know, hot peppers or anything like that, but. You definitely get a little bit of a something, you know, maybe it's from the sauces, but it's uh, absolutely delicious. The first thing that hits you is that soy sauce. The teriyaki kind of lingers a little bit, but you have the sweetness the whole time, like I said, from the brown sugar and the honey. And it's just a, it's a really good combination of flavors. And like I said, it's, uh, it's exactly how beef jerky is supposed to be made. I like my beef jerky just a little bit wet, but um, it's, it's great. It's really good stuff. I just want to turn the camera back on. Let me explain the flavor profile just a little bit more. So uh, definitely oriental. If you don't like Chinese food, don't bother with this. Uh, if you do like Chinese food like I do, unfortunately, it, Chinese food. This is something I thought about the other day, too. There's two things I noticed about Chinese food. One is they don't use cheese in anything, which would be gross if they did. But if you think about it, there's no cheese in any kind of Chinese food at all or, or any oriental food, I don't think, at all. So, just an odd thing I was thinking about one day. And also, um, what makes Chinese food so good is the sauce. Think about it. Think about your favorite Chinese food. Take away that sauce that they put on it, no matter what it is. And it becomes kind of like, eh, whatever. It's no longer Chinese food. It's all the secret is in the sauce. And that's kind of like what this is. The secret's in the sauce. Anyone can dry out meat. It's all about how you flavor it. And uh, it's flavored very well. So... I will leave you with that, and I'll let you go about your business, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. So, thanks again, guys. <laughs> Take care.